Hello everyone. I am Woman Grandmaster Nisha Mohta and today I welcome you all to a special episode of Masala Chai and Chess with Nisha. Why is this episode special? Well, in 2020 it is very rare to get a good news, but a few days back I got one. On 30th of June, India's finest attacking players that I know of personally got married. I am talking about India's 16th and Kerala's first grandmaster G N Gopal. Gopal has represented India in chess olympiads, world team chess championship, Asian games, literally everywhere. He is extremely good in calculation, a very imaginative player, very good in sharp positions and his chess knowledge is really enviable. I decided to take this opportunity to show the best of Gopal's games and today we'll look at not just one game but four games. So let's get started. The first game that I'm going to show to you was played in the year 2012. Gopal is white against Sham Sundar, another very strong Indian player, now a grandmaster. E4, E5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. F5. We see the Shieldman variation of the Rai Lopez on the board. We get a feeling already that the game is going to be interesting. Knight c3, f into e4, knight into e4, knight f6, knight into f6, queen into f6, queen e2, bishop e7, bishop into c6, b into c6, knight into e5, queen e6, d4. Now all this has been played earlier. The normal way to play here is either castles or bishop f6. But Sham chose to play c5 and Sham is playing with fire. I think it's very dangerous to play against Gopal with the king in the center. Queen h5 check, g6, queen f3 attacks the rook on a8, rook b8, castles, c into d4, rook e1. White gets his rook into the game. Rook f8, queen g3, queen f5, bishop h6. White starts troubling the black rook, rook f6, bishop g5, rook e6. Bishop into e7, exchanging the defender of the black king, king into e7. Now this is an interesting position and the next move is nice. Knight c6. White is checking the king, forking the rook on b8. And very interesting is that the rook on e6 cannot leave the e file as it is pinned. d into c6 was played. Queen c7 with the check and an attack to the b8 rook. Bishop d7. Rook into e6 check. Black took king into e6. Queen into b8. Queen c2, rook e1 check, bringing the last piece into the game, king d5, look how slowly, slowly the black king is being dragged out in the center of the board, queen e5 check, king c4, b3 check, King d3 was played here instead. If black goes king b4, then white plays queen d4 and the d7 bishop is hanging. So king d3 was played in the game. And here Gopal finished off with a nice move. Rook e3 check. The last move of the game after which Sham resigned. The point is that here if black goes king d2, black loses the queen after rook e2 and instead after rook e3 check if sham plays d into e3 here queen e3 is a pretty checkmate a mate 
on d3 it's really nice to you know drag the king all the way to d3 and then deliver checkmate it's a nice game of king walk of the opponent how to drag the opponent's king and if you think of it it's very difficult to understand black's mistake just one small mistake and that was enough for gopal to convert this into a full point nice instructive game let's come to our next game this is a diagram from the game anishgiri versus gopal it was played in the year 2009 and this is the same year that anish became a grandmaster let's have a look at how the game went from here bishop f4 uh, this is a standard hedgehog position but in this position the normal way to play is g5 lot of games have been played uh, with g5 but anish chose bishop f4 attacking the pawn on d6 knight e8 was played and white played bishop h6 it's important to note that bishop into d6 is not a good move here because uh, knight into d6 rook into d6 b5 is a standard trick for black it's quite known so bishop h6 was played in the game b5 this is very typical in this pawn structure bishop into g7 king into g7 g5 b into c4 and here anish played queen h6 check now this was 15 year old anish and when we are young we like to go all out and deliver checkmate but soon we'll see in this game that gopal's counter attack begins king g8 rook d4 so it's clear that white wants to play rook h4 and deliver checkmate soon bishop into f3 e into f3 knight e5 black is threatening knight f3 with the fork king g2 d5 f4 was played driving the knight away knight c6 and here anish played rook d5 he continues to go all out to deliver checkmate e into d5 knight into d5 so white wants to play knight f6 and after knight into f6 g into f6 he wants to give a checkmate with queen g7 gopal played a nice move here queen b7 the queen is i'm the king now king f1 was played we see that knight f6 knight into f6 g into f6 knight d4 is a very difficult position for white the king is in trouble so in this position white played king f1 knight e7 knight f6 knight into f6 g into f6 we see there is a mate thread with queen g7 so knight f5 was played bishop into f5 queen h1 check king e2 rook e8 check king d2 queen d5 check king c3 c into b3 check and here anish resigned it's amazing to see how giri's king is dragged out from g2 to c3 all the way from g2 to c3 i guess gopal enjoys this you know king march of opponent in the last game also we saw this and here against anish giri he did the same this is really amazing against a player who now has become so strong The next game that I'm going to show to you was played in the year 2015. Gopal is white against Shrinath Narayanan, who was then an IM, but now he's a strong grandmaster. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop B5. Gopal handles the white side of Spanish very well, and this game is an example of that. 
a6, bishop a4, knight f6, castles, bishop e7, rook e1, b5, bishop b3, d6, c3, castles, h3, bishop b7, d4, rook e8, knight bd2, e into d4, c into d4, knight d7, knight f1, knight a5 attacking the bishop, bishop c2, bishop f6, bishop f4, knight f8, knight g3, g6 stopping knight f5 jumps, b3, c5. Now this is the diagram position because of which I'm showing you this game. Gopal played a very nice move here. He played d5. He's offering to give his rook for this bishop on f6. It's a very nice move and Gopal realizes that once this bishop on f6 is gone, he will try to attack the dark squares near black's king. Bishop into a1 was played, opponent decides to accept the challenge. Queen into a1. One very important thing we need to understand is once d5 was played, this knight on a5 remains out of the board and it remains here for quite some time in this game. f6 was played. Knight h2, this is a typical maneuver in the, uh, you know, Spanish. White wants to play knight g4 and then attack f6 and maybe even go to h6. Bishop c8 was played. Black stops knight g4. And here, Gopal played a fantastic move. He played bishop c1. Those who have seen my last episode will recall bishop c1 played by Nigel, where Nigel wanted to change the direction of the bishop. Same thing is seen in this game, the same move bishop c1. White wants to change the diagonal of the bishop. Right now it is on the c1 h6 diagonal and white wants to transfer it to b2 and then control this long diagonal. Fantastic. You know how ideas in chess repeat? The same thing, the same idea we saw in the last game, we, in the last episode, and again here, it's the same idea. Changing the diagonal of the bishop and rerouting it, and things become so much easier after that. Rook a7, bishop b2. And suddenly white's position becomes very strong once the bishop has come to b2. Rook f7 was played supporting the f6 pawn. f4, b4, rook f1, c4. Black wants to play c3 next. So bishop d4 coming out of it. Queen c7, queen d1, bishop d7, f5 c into b3, a into b3, rook c8, attacking the c2 bishop, so bishop d3, attacking the a6 pawn, bishop b5 was played, knight g4, the knight is attacking f6, and it's also eyeing the h6 square. And in this position, black is very badly missing the dark squared bishop. Bishop into d3, Queen into d3, queen c2, queen into a6, black took the spawn on b3, knight into b3, knight at 6 check, white has a fantastic position already, king g7, knight into f7, knight d4 was played, knight d6, queen c7, knight c8. A very nice game on how to conduct the attack in the Rai Lopez. You know, when a strong player plays chess, winning in chess seems so easy. Just a few precise moves and it looks so simple. In this game, the moves 
d5 and bishop c1 really stand out they were really fantastic and just changed everything in the game really nice move d5 and bishop c1 the last game that i'm going to show to you today was played in the year 2016 in the famous gibraltar tournament gopal is white against english grandmaster david howell around here this position is roughly equal it has come from the spanish it's after black's 35th move knight f8 was played in the last move let's see how gopal builds up the attack from here and converts the position into a very nice victory knight c6 king h7 knight d4 king g8 knight c6 i guess the players were in time pressure and so they repeated the moves king h7 f6 was played queen h6 queen c7 attacking the f7 pawn king g8 knight e7 check king h8 rook d8 rook e2 i like the next three moves in the game white played king h2 looks normal right rook into a2 h4 a5 was played here and now a fantastic move and you will now understand why king h2 was important queen c1 fantastic White is removing the defender of the f8 knight. This c1 square seems to be the key square in every game that we are seeing. Black took queen into c1. Rook into f8 check. King h7. Rook into f7 check. Here if Powell plays king h6. Knight g8 is checkmate. So he went king h8, knight g6 check, king g8, rook g7 checkmate. It's amazing to checkmate David Howell like this. Great, great attacking games. I hope you all liked my selection of Gopal's attacking games. Let's take this opportunity to wish Gopal and his wife Rohini a very happy married life. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think of these games that I showed today. Do like my video if you actually like it. Let's spread the positivity over a cup of tea. Bye bye.